Hi everyone, my name is Lauren Elima Ndovare. I'm a IT project manager specialized in business intelligence and analytics. Um, previously, I was also a developer and I've worked in a couple of projects in the industry um, in business intelligence and analytics still. So um, my journey with data began back then in when I finished, when, when actually I made a choice to do um, mathematics and computer science for my undergrad. That was back then in 2012, I joined Jekwat Karen, where I was the only lady in my class, class of 21 people. So I did maths and computer science. I chose maths majorly because I loved maths. And with computer science, it was more of, I can't go wrong with that. So that's why, why I chose that combination because it was more like killing two birds with one stone. So my, that's why my journey with data began because I encountered a couple of units which talked about data and I was kind of interested in knowing what that is. So I finished school in 2014 graduated in 2015 around june prior to graduation i did i was involved in a couple of uh, activities here and there there was internship at telcom uh, which is which was formerly called orange so in in telcom i worked as a net in the network architecture and design department uh, before telcom i was also engaged in an organization called open institute they dealt with data at the moment they were trying to collect data for a few um, activities here and there that is like in different industries let's say election um, agriculture so it started uh, also with that then now telecom kenya and then after that i got a call from my friend neville who happened to be working with pathways international at the time so the call was for they needed a group of people to come in and do um, some data entry so I joined the group Pathways because I just finished my internship at Telcom. One week later, I got the call, joined Pathways, began the data, the data entry project for a company we were working with uh, for in the US. So after that, my, my, that's why I started just growing slowly by slowly. Pathways deal, deals with data. We deal with data analytics, we deal with uh, business intelligence. We have a couple of projects that deal with also cloud development, machine learning, um, and just a lot more on data, software development, and such like stuff. So with Pathways, I've grown exponentially over time. So after data entry projects, I got myself, I secured a job in Pathways as a business intelligence developer. So I, we were doing a couple of projects related to SQL. So the project, and then now data analytics bit, yeah. So after some time, my interest grew fonder and um, after a couple of projects which were related to let's say finance industries which are related to also um, uh, let's say water water stuff because we did a project in the u.s like uh, more of like let's think of nairobi water now in the u.s so we did one project with the uh, with the people in the u.s on that and then other industries include e-commerce we did a project in Rwanda with uh, in terms of data analytics. And then I've been exposed to a couple of uh, tools, uh, let's, uh, like for example, Power BI, Microsoft, that is Microsoft Power BI, Tableau. So those are some of the tools we've been using in terms of doing the analytics and development of the reports. So besides that, I also got some interest into the project management bit. I did uh, a couple of projects in for a start because I had never done project management, but I had the skills, you know. I had the skills. I did a couple of uh, things related to management in pathways, so that's when I found that interest. So I first of all began by doing quality assurance, that is QA for a couple of projects which were then closing up. So after doing QA is when now I decided to get a certification. Um, in uh, project management, which was Prince2 uh, certification. So after I did Prince2 certification, I now understood from a better point of view what it took to manage a project from start to end. And uh, because I had also the background knowledge of how uh, develop development of an actual project happens, it was a bit easier for me to manage and plan these other projects when it came to project management. 
So now, yes, still almost the kind of similar concepts of the other projects, which were data analytics related, business intelligence. So I've been managing a couple of them. Right now, financial industries just closed one recently, which was a really good, um, good uh, initiative. I really enjoyed working with the clients in that project. So yes, that has been my data story. Um, besides all that, I've been doing, of course, interest. You know, data has so much, and IT in general has a lot ongoing. So besides data, you need to keep updated with different trends. So you find like um, cloud analytics, you need to understand all these things so that even you as a project manager, when you are managing IT projects, you understand what you are planning for, you know? You just don't do things blindly. And also you can also be able to offer informed decisions and give advice to your clients when it comes to picking the right tools, when it comes to um, doing what is best for them, like let's say data cleanup, you can offer this from an informed pos uh, perspective because now you know what you are telling them to do. So I've done certifications in terms of Azure, Azure Cloud. So that is Microsoft. I did one recently. Um, besides that, I've done Google Analytics certification. I've also done a couple of, uh, besides the Prince2 certification, I did also one with Udemy. Those, uh, those are some of the certifications I've done. So I'd encourage anyone, a uh, project manager especially, let's, say, let's talk of, of that first, to actually get involved a lot more in the IT bit in the actual hands-on, just know. You don't have to know everything because there's a lot. You can't know everything. But just to be more aware of what's ongoing so that you're not you're not blind to uh, things. You're not just planning things from a, an informed perspective. Um, so basically, that has been my data journey. And uh, I'm re really enjoying it. And I'm looking forward to know what's next, what's, what's new, what's um, improved. And uh, yeah, that's my data story. Why Data Talks with Lauren? Data Talks with Lauren is something I thought about um, sometime last year. I have a couple of friends always asking me, so what is business intelligence? What is data analytics? They don't really understand. Maybe they've seen dashboards. They, they know, yes, this is a dashboard. This is telling me this. But they don't understand what's behind it. So this is a platform to enable people be aware of where to even start from, what is data, what is business intelligence, just basically knowing and understanding what is this whole gist around data. Because we're living in an era where data is really like the gold, you know. So we're using a lot of information every day, a lot of transactions happening, a lot of businesses need to make decisions on an informed, from an informed perspective. Like without making use of this data, you can't be able to really know where you're going, first of all knowing where you are coming from so you really need to understand what it is about before you even decide i want to actually i'm interested in doing business intelligence you know so data talks with lauren is about that just informing we're going to have a lot of fun hearing stories from the, uh, some of my friends who are also in the data industry and um, a special shout out to them because this first season was really about just understanding what business intelligence application looks like in the different industries. So you find like there's Neville who will be talking about data in telecommunication industry. He's worked in a couple of projects there. There's Richard who will be talking about data in the solar energy industry kind of sort of thing. And then we have uh, in fast moving consumer goods where you find people buying these things at a certain rate. How, what kind of analytics can you do with that. There's Ken will be talking about data in the NGO industry. So we want to understand in an NGO, well, how can you even apply this data? There's Matthew who will be talking about in financial industry. We've worked with, a, with Matthew in a couple of projects in the financial industry. Some of them was managing, some was a, a developer. But uh, yeah, he'll tell us his perspective because also these guys are technical people. So they understand it from an even more better position, you know. So yeah, they'll be explaining. So the first season is about basically understanding it, but not more of technical, more of a business perspective because you don't want to go deep dive in technical and get people lost. You first of all have to understand the business before you understand the tech part of it. So yeah, it's going to be a fun episode, uh, fun season, um, around six episodes. 
so we'll see how this goes and then maybe in future we'll incorporate more uh, more IT related stuff more data stuff maybe software development at some point you never know we'll see how it goes so yeah I'm looking forward to you uh, my viewers engaging more listening more um, learning more because there's a lot to be learned every day is a learning experience there is some of these things that my friends say and I keep learning every day you, you can't just know everything you can't know everything so there's at least more more learning so i'd encourage you to watch some of these series so that you don't keep asking what is this data what is this just stay informed you know so, all right a very special shout out to my friends who came on board the people i mentioned earlier thank you so much for coming through in season one and also my brother because there's another episode we did separately that will also be part of this season one thank you to my brother as well who came on board with the data in ngo story his story so a special shout out also to the guy behind the camera that is Simeon Raro. Thank you so much for coming on board with this. I know I pitched to you this and you're just like, you can't do this small. We have to go big, you know, since it's quality stuff. So I really appreciate that. A special shout out to me as well, because I mean, without this idea, this wouldn't be even possible. So thank you really, uh, a big thank you to people who came on board to support my vision and just, um, the concept I, ha I had behind this so yeah thank you i'm um, looking forward to a lot of engagement from you guys and uh, i hope you learn a lot yeah bye